Hi, I'm Oscar Valadez. I'm running for Fulton City Council, District 5, um, lifelong Fulton resident. I was born in St. Jude's, went to school at St. Mary's, uh, college at Stanford. Uh, I have a business here. I have two boys, 8 and 10, want to make a difference. Awesome. I think that's especially how District 5 feels. They feel like they're, um, they're not in the decision-making process. So some of the low-hanging fruit that we should do that's obvious is uh, we need to make sure that all the online electronic interactions that people have, like My Fulton app or e-newsletters and social media are available in multiple languages so that they can better connect with our residents. Uh, but definitely what we need to do is strengthen our direct contact by promoting face-to-face -face, uh, engagement. So we need to open up all the community centers, like Maple Community Center, so that we can welcome our neighbors and, and inform them on what's happening in Fulton directly. I would also like to hold meetings with our community groups like Richmond and Woodcrest, Woodcrest Association, and our city staff can be at these meetings. And lastly, I will always be available, so they'll have my telephone number and they can give me a call. I think uh, after dealing with the pandemic and its economic impacts, and we're still dealing with the pandemic, Fulton continues to have uh, to face significant challenges in housing, homelessness, deferred infrastructure maintenance, and public safety. However, the biggest existential crisis challenge that will need to be met is that the public not lose faith that their local government can be effective and efficient in providing services. For local governments to meet all of the above challenges and improve the overall quality of life for our, all our residents, council members must not lose our residents' trust. Council members must listen and respond promptly to our residents and never forget that the job is fundamentally about serving the public good. And we need a representative in District 5 that is willing to work with other council members to end the perception by residents and businesses that City Hall is dysfunctional. Since this is my first election, I'm the major donor, I guess unfortunately, of my uh, candidacy. I've uh, donated so far about $12,000 to my campaign and more than likely I'll probably have to donate a little bit more. I see this money as an investment so that I can help the city of Fullerton continue being a place where my children will want to raise their families too. Uh, the next largest donors are family friends, George Bushala, Fidel Bushala, and my brother Mario Valadez. And Beyond them, the additional donors are my friends, family, and small businesses. Discussing the issue of donors, I would like to stress that my priority is to listen to the 29,000 residents of District 5. First and foremost, I'm their public servant. Furthermore, my family has deep roots in Fullerton. My family, my parents have lived here for over 60 years, and four of my seven siblings live in Fullerton as well. We don't plan to leave. As a city council member, I don't want to do anything, and I st stress this, I don't want to do anything that might embarrass my parents, siblings, my wife, and my kids. And concerning the endorsements, I guess that's the second part. Of it. I'm endorsed by, by our mayor um, of Fullerton, Fred Jung, our Fulton School District trustee, Leonel Talavera, and the Orange County Register Editorial Board. But more importantly, beyond these endorsements, I'm working every day uh, to earn the most important endorsement, which is the residents of District 5. So I'm walking and knocking on doors and hopefully convincing them uh, to vote for me. Concerning our biggest challenges, I want to listen and champion community-based solutions. And so I'll give you some examples of where I, I feel like the incumbent hasn't listened, and I will. So concerning the marijuana dispensaries, he's voted to allow them. And the residents in District 5, they organized with the help of the Woodcrest Association and were able to get 900 residents to sign a petition asking for no dispensaries. The incumbent didn't want to budge. The, the residents then were willing to compromise. They were like, okay, let's reduce the buffers and start with a, a pilot program. Again, he didn't want to, to listen. So I will listen. And maybe the residents were right. When, when you read the articles in the LA Times discussing the Pandora's box of problems that have been created with the state cannabis law, uh, even more reason why uh, the incumbent should have listened. I think another, uh, another issue where he failed to listen to the residents is concerning Union Pacific Park. The Observer has highlighted that there are, over, there are only 13 parks south of Commonwealth out of the total of 52. The incumbent wanted to build a private event center with uh, aquaponics. So I think something that we all need to stress is that parks are important parts of our neighborhood and are spaces that our residents should enjoy. One thing in addition to that we're talking about the problems is public safety. So there's a resident uh, who just was killed on Highland between uh, on Nap 
and the residents have been asking for stop signs, they've been asking for a crosswalk, and the city officials don't listen. I think that's a big problem in our city. You look at city and, uh, and streets on north of, in northern Fulton, for, for example, uh, between Valencia Mesa, between Harbor and Euclid, there are like four stops. And there's multiple roads where the stops have been added. I think something that they have to start listening to, uh, to the residents in District 5.